So, I hear you're on going on the Wolfland Trail. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. And have you been running ro- low on food? Well, kind of. We did lose one wagon in the river, so we did lose all of our bacon and a couple other things. Have you come across any buffalo? Yes, we came across this huge herd of buffalo, and there were lots of them that was blocking our path, so we had to figure out what to do. What did you do? So we actually ended up shooting one and eating one because we were running low on food, and we ate one, but we shot one, which startled all the buffalo. We still got one buffalo to eat, but it startled the rest of the buffalo, so they all ran away, but luckily they didn't stampede toward us, so we still got to continue on the Oregon Trail. So they stampeded away from you? Yes. Okay. So I think that ends it up. Two, one. So I heard you have arrived at Fort Kearney. Yeah, and now we're living in sod houses for the next couple of days that we stay and rest. Um, did any did anything happen with your wagons? Well, actually, our wagon axle broke, and we had to get it fixed for $50. That's a lot. But luckily, um, it had only broken around two days before we got to Fort Kearney, so we could just put the wagon on skis and put everything else from the wagon into other wagons until we got to Fort Kearney, and now we got it fixed. Have any of your ox died or got way too tired to walk? No, well, we came across a man called, um, called William, and he... We negotiated with him that if we paid him one hundred forty-five dollars, then he'll trade out all of our oxen for new, for not for new oxen, but for oxen who have been resting for a couple weeks. So then we can travel faster and eventually get um, to Oregon instead of having our oxen die along the way. So did you end up taking the deal from that man? Yes, we did, and it actually it started out at $150, but we negotiated down to $145, so that was lucky for us. Okay, Okay, so, um, have you, like, liked living in those sod houses? It was okay, but we kind of didn't think that it was going to be much protection against if there was an Indian attack, but, yeah, so that's basically all that happened, but we also got more food to last us another month until we get to Fort Lamy. Okay. So, since you're traveling on the Oregon Trail in an 84 wagon train, I was wondering if anything exciting is happening. Well, actually, it's not too exciting, but it's kind of, it's kind of like sad almost. Like, so the la- wagon train leader, he has decided he he wants to kick this one family off the wagon train just because that their family's getting sick. But every we we are trying to go against that and like trying to see there should be a vote if we should kick that family off the wagon train, and I don't think that should. I we we are gonna go ask Mr. McCoy if he can change that and that so if we can have a vote to keep that family. And why do you want to keep this family? Well, one this was a, like he they're kind of an important family on our wagon train. They're one of the biggest families, so they're pretty helpful actually. They help with the campfires and oxen. And that we kind of need them in our wagon train to help us keep going. Oh, okay. And anything else happen? Well, because you have been traveling for a while. There has been an argument. Like there was an argument with a couple guys. Like nobody was hurt, but they they like there was some pushing and shoving and screaming. A lot of words were said. So, uh, so there has been a, a few arguments. And another thing was Mr. Solars. He saw a grave of Matthew, and he was wa- looking at it and like, like wondering how it happened or why they, remembering what happened. And but and then he looked. He was looking at that for like five minutes or something in the wagon. He looked for the wagon train and it was gone. But he saw some dust, so he ran to the wagon train and then he saw them. Hmm. But who's who's Matthew? Well, it was his Mr. Schwarz's nephew. Oh, okay. So, and. Anything else? Just or just traveling for a while? Uh, I think that's about it. Okay. So what have you learned from the Oregon Trail since we've been traveling so long? Well, I learned many things, but one of those things I learned, like just a couple of days ago or weeks or whatever, was that you can't shoot a gun near animals because it'll startle all of them. Because we were trying to shoot a buffalo so then we could have a nice dinner, but Logan, who was a good shot, he accidentally shot his gun right near all of the oxen and horses and stuff and then that didn't work out. They all got spooked. But luckily, no, 
No animals ran away and everyone was okay. Do you think that you would ever do that again or that we would ever do that again? No, I think Logan learned his lesson and next time if he's going to shoot an animal or hunt or whatever, he's going to do it away from the wagon chain. What else have you learned? Well, I also we also noticed that uh, we heard also that the supplies at Fort Kearney was very expensive and much more expensive than we when we get to Fort Laramie. Why do you think it's more expensive? Oh, because um, it's a smaller fort and supplies are less common and just they need they have less supplies. Are we gonna buy supplies from there or wait to go to fort or the other the next fort? We bought some supplies and we bought enough supplies to last us around a month until we go until we're at Fort Laramie. Have you learned anything else or is that about it? That's about it for the past couple of weeks.